So coming to another important topic that is drone disc. <coughs> drone disc is a state when there is increased level of bilirubin in the body. Drone disc is a state whenever there is increased level of bilirubin in the body. The level of bilirubin is more than 35 millimoles per liter and the level of bilirubin is more than 35 millimole per liter. We know by now that hemoglobin hemoglobin is divided into two parts. Number one mm, and number two globin. After 120 days, when these RBCs goes to the spleen, the spleen is called graveyard of the RBC. The RBC get destroyed there, and whenever the RBC destroyed there, this heme separates and this globin separates. This hemoglobin comes out and it separates into heme and globin. This globin is converted into amino acids and recycled. This globin is converted into amino acid and are recycled. This heme is further divided into two, iron and porphyrins. These irons, these iron molecules are recycled as well. It goes to the liver and stored there. It goes to the liver and stored there and other parts of the body so whenever this uh, RBCs are destroyed in the spleen which is a great part of RBC hemoglobin molecules come out and it split up into heme portion and a globin portion this globin portion are then converted into this individual amino acids and are recycled this heme portion they split up into two iron portion and for firing portion. This iron portion is recycled and is stored in the liver. Now coming to this for firing, let me tell you in detail this thing. So we are left with for firings. These for firing molecules are then converted into bilirubin. These forfarin molecules are converted into bilirubin. The enzyme here which is used is bilirubin reductase. is converted into unconjugated this bilirubin is converted into unconjugated bilirubin this unconjugated bilirubin combine itself with a protein with the name albumin this unconjugated bilirubin combines itself with a protein with the name albumin and carries to the liver and goes to the liver. So I write it down the liver. So this unconjugated bilirubin will reach the liver. So again this hemoglobin molecule is splitting up into heme portion and globin portion. This heme portion is uh, then again splitting into heme iron portion and for filings. This iron is stored in the liver and different parts of the body in the form of ferritin. This for filing molecules converting into bilirubin. This bilirubin is converted into unconjugated bilirubin and unconjugated bilirubin goes to the liver. And how it goes to the liver? When it attaches itself with a protein molecule with the name albumin. So now coming here, this unconjugated bilirubin is now in the this unconjugated bilirubin is now in the liver. This unconjugated bilirubin is, conjuga is con conjugated and now we get conjugated bilirubin. 
How this unconjugated bilirubin is converted into conjugated bilirubin? With the help of an enzyme. The name of that enzyme is gluconyl transferase. The name of that enzyme is gluconyl transferase. This unconjugated bilirubin is converted into conjugated bilirubin and it leaves the liver and goes to the gallbladder and goes to the gallbladder and it is stored there for a period of time. From gallbladder, this conjugated bilirubin comes out and goes to the small intestine where it has two fates. It is converted either into urobilinogen or stercobilinogen. It is converted into the urobilinogen or stercobilinogen. Urobilinogen is that bilirubin which is excreted in the urine. And stercobilinogen is that bilirubin which is used in the feces. So this is a normal phenomena. Whenever this profile molecule is converted into bilirubin, bilirubin is converted into unconjugated bilirubin, unconjugated bilirubin is converted into unconjugated bilirubin. After being attached to albumin molecule, goes to the liver and their conjugation takes place with the help of an enzyme, gluconyl transferase. Please remember the name of this enzyme. It is very important. So in liver there is an enzyme with the name gluconyl transferase and unconjugated bilirubin with the help of enzyme gluconyl transferase, it is converted into conjugated bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin goes to the gallbladder. After the gallbladder, it is converted into, it is goes to the small intestine where it converts either into urobilinogen or it converts into stercobilinogen. Why this conjugation is taking place? Because this unconjugated bilirubin, because this unconjugated bilirubin is not soluble. is not soluble in water molecules and it is not soluble in water molecules that's why it cannot be eliminated to, through urine or through the feces so this unconjugated bilirubin is not water soluble and it keep on raising in the body and it has tendency to cross blood brain barrier and whenever it has crossed the blood brain barrier it can lead to a condition known to be connectors now, this was a normal phenomenon, not talking about joiners. We have already known by now that joiners is the condition whenever there is increased level of bilirubin in the body. This bilirubin can be conjugated, this bilirubin can be unconjugated and this bilirubin can be both. If there is raised level of conjugated bilirubin, it is called joiners. If there is level increased level of unconjugated bilirubin, it is called joiners. Whenever there is increased level of both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin, it is called joiners. So joiners is of three types: one, two, and three. Three types, number one, prehepatic. Trend is number one, prehepatic. Number two, hepatic. And number third one, post hepatic. Coming to the prehepatic joint is Whenever there is increased destruction of RBC, whenever there is increased destruction of RBC, because of the destruction of RBCs, the hemoglobin molecule keep on coming out from the RBCs. Whenever the hemoglobin molecule keeps on coming out from the RBC molecule, it keep on splitting into heme portion and its globin portion. And heme portion again, it has tendency to form bilirubin. So in pre-hepatic jointness, what happens? The RBC has increased tendency to break down, as in sickle cell disease, as in thalassemia, as in hemolytic anemias,
what happened? For example, this hepatic has a tendency, a certain tendency to convert unconjugated into conjugated. For example, we wrote it, write it down. 10 molecules of unconjugated bilirubin can be converted into 10 molecules of conjugated bilirubin. 10 molecules of unconjugated bilirubin can be converted into 10 molecules of conjugated. For example, this has the tendency of hepatic tissues. But now, because of the increased destruction of this RBC molecule, because of the increased destruction of RBC, this unconjugated molecules keep on rising. When I will keep on rising, it can increase from this number, numerical number 10, and it reaches to 20. So 10, 20 unconjugated bilirubin can be converted into molecules of conjugated? No. Can this 20 unconjugated bilirubin molecules can be converted into conjugated? No. So what happens? This unconjugated bilirubin keep on raising in the body. So in pre-hepatic jaundice, there is an increased level of unconjugated bilirubin. So in pre-hepatic jaundice, there is increased level of unconjugated bilirubin.